What's up guys and welcome to the first of a new series that I'm going to be doing, doing extreme drop tests on cases. That's going to include a extreme drop test case with a screen protector on the device and we're going to be doing it for all kinds of devices and cases and it's going to be awesome. We're going to be doing it from 2 feet, 4 feet, 6 feet, 8 feet and 10 feet and they're all going to be face down oriented. It doesn't have to land perfectly face down because that's not especially realistic if you're expecting it to always hit. In real life, it's going to bounce on the edges, corners, on sides, all over. All right, guys, let's get to the drop test. Today, we're going to be doing the Rhino Shield Crash Guard. It's a shock spread technology, absorbs impact, it claims up to 11 and a half feet. A lot of extreme cases are now claiming over 10 feet protection. And this includes a front and back screen protector, which we have on the device right now. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the back really quick. It says exceeds military drop test standards, easy to grip material, reinforced corners, lightweight, slim profile, and says it's recyclable. That's pretty cool. It's made by Evolution Labs. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and pop it open. Put it on the phone. So see how easy it is to put on. There we go, it's pretty simple. Okay, looks like we got button press right here, volume buttons. You can still manually activate the switch. I like that. I don't like when cases try to have a little switch for that. It gets too gimmicky. Cool. All right, let's get to the drop test. All right, here we go. We're going to do a two foot drop on the face in three, two, one. Let's see how it did. Popping it up. Okay, you can see it's just a little bit of scratching on the edges, but other than that, we're good to go. Move on to the forefoot. In three, two, one. All right, well, that was a pretty good side drop. It hit pretty hard on one of the corners. Maybe, maybe that one right there. And we got some scratching along the top up here too. But overall, the phone's just fine. So far so good, on the six foot drop. See how it did from the six foot? That was a loud hit, that's for sure. Looks like the screen is just fine. Trying to see where it hit even. It's hard to see the damage. Okay, there's a little bit of damage right here. This case is holding up pretty good considering how many drops we're dropping in. This is a pretty far drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, for the eight foot drop, we got a two foot chair plus the six foot measuring stick. We're gonna be dropping it on the face in three, two, one. Well, that was a good face down drop. Let's see if it can handle a drop like that. It looks like the screen protector is actually damaged from the concrete. So it, this is kind of a rubberized edges. The impact was enough to, to push them back and allow the screen protector to directly impact. That's, and the screen, it looks like the screen protector protected the screen. So let's move on to the 10 foot drop. This is gonna be insane. So this ladder is not tall enough for me to do this drop test. I'm going to have to get directly on the chair and kind of stand on my tippy toes. And we're going to be estimating the 10 foot drop because I actually need to get a bigger, bigger ruler. This isn't big enough anymore. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, recording video on the phone this time. Let's see a drop face down on its own camera. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay. That was a really good face down. Yeah, that looks pretty good actually. Holy cow. I'm interested to see if it actually is still alive after a 10 foot face down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, let's check it out. Dang. Okay. Okay, moment of truth. Did it survive all of the drop tests? It looks like it did and it's still recording. 
Awesome. And the screen, looks like the screen protector is just a little bit more dinged because that was another direct impact on the face. Holy cow, this thing's amazing. I was really impressed with this Crash Guard screen protector case combo pack by Evolution Labs. They actually sent me the case combo pack and the iPhone 6S for me to test. That's how much they believe in their product. I even told them I was gonna be dropping it from 10 feet on the face and they were like, okay, go ahead. So big kudos to them. If you wanna pick up one of these case combo packs, I'll have a link down below in the video description. So peace out guys, that's it for this video. See you guys next time with more drop tests. Three, two, look at that, they're pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see how it did. Pull it up. So we've got some hairline scratches, but there's definitely some specks from hitting the concrete. No big deal though. And the phone is still working just fine. We're gonna be